Retrospectives are always good targets for game structure. Looking back on the past and reliving old moments can strike a chord within gamers, and since video gaming has become one of the great outlets for pop culture, it has tied in movies, TV shows, real life events, sports, and the like. It takes a worthy developer, however, to make sure that it is actually a competent production, able to satisfy both factions equally. An example of such a production is an interactive retrospective of the history of arguably the world's most popular cartoon character, Mickey Mouse, in the confines of a 16-bit platformer that showcases the floppy-eared Disney creation in each of his most popular appearances. This is Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse, developed by Traveler's Tales and published by Sony ImageSoft in 1994. As far as top flight Disney video games go, this one is right up there with Kingdom Hearts and Castle of Illusion. I couldn't help but let my jaw hit the floor as the parrots whizzed by my head and Steamboat Willie went about his business at the helm of his riverboat. Absent of typical video gamery in favor of immersing yourself within famous Mickey Mouse cartoons, Mickey Mania does a fantastic job of making you feel like you're actually part of the cartoon as the imagery, enemies, and obstacles seem as if they are hand-drawn representations of Walt Disney's classic cartoons from the 1920s all the way up to the time that the game was released, such as The Mad Doctor, Moose Hunters, Mickey and the Beanstalk, and The Prince and the Pauper. Mickey has two attacks, a jump stomp and a marble toss, and you might spend a few lives in the beginning just getting a hang of his abilities. That's right, this game is no easy walk in the park and is bitingly difficult if you aren't both nimble and patient as you control Mickey through a side-scrolling experience quite unlike any other. Some stages may surprise you with eye-popping proto-3D graphics that you may see in Sonic the Hedgehog series. For example, this tower stage in the Mad Doctor wraps around quite beautifully as Mickey's design remains on a fixed plane but the platforms in front of him crawl upwards as he moves towards either side. It's truly testament to the capability of 16-bit graphics and how, when they are harnessed the right way, can produce stunning creations of both artwork and gameplay. To those viewers that are God of War fans, you may be surprised to learn that this game is Kratos and the fight against Ares in its infancy. Mickey Mania is video game designer David Jaffe's first project, and he would spring from this 16-bit platformer to work on games like God of War and the car combat classic Twisted Metal. Not a bad start. Mickey Mania is definitely more than just Disney fan service. It's a difficult but rewarding platformer that will earn the hearts of kids and adults alike, and offers a timeless adventure through the history of Walt Disney's most famous creation. Ow.